yet again. I will say, though, it's a good thing you point out Zone 6. I did not expect that with only 40 players remaining. We're starting to see that upping aggression that we talked about during the first half of the day. Back half of the day, a lot different than the first. The one consistency we are starting to see, Zeddy is warming up. He's getting better the further we get into this day. The issue for him, though, again, he's still got an uphill battle. He has zero eliminations throughout this one. Maybe he's relying on the late game for him to get those eliminations, but he's got to start going. He needs more than a good performance. He needs a great one if he wants to get back into the competition. Look, I'm going to be honest. Ooh. I'm looking at everybody. Thresh goes down here. This bear about Queezy picking up one on to Oliver OG. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna call it now. Source going down as well. Ah, Zeddy or Queasy win this game. Watch. Mm. Zeddy or Queasy are gonna walk away with a VR here. And it could be even a 1v2. But of course, as I say that, if it's a cast of curse, Zeddy taking a ton of damage. Now on the back foot, does have everything to heal back up but now has to use some vital resources just to survive. Yeah, he's in a rough position overall, but the good thing for him is not everybody's in a good position. Mr. Savage in a horrible one. He will be the one that takes him out. And I called his name, I will say it again. Poppy Blast with his fourth elimination of the game. My man's is getting high. Man, he's getting active, and that's what you love to see here. Another player just trying to stay out of the activity is Seti. Staying alive here, Queezy. Wait, Queezy going down to Storm. That is Storm going to take Queezy out. Seti's still in this. He's going to use his Med Mist just to rotate for A big player, and a big elimination comes through as Donnie goes down. Seti's still in it, though. Now using the Chrome Flash to rotate. Good play on his part, but he needs to be directional with it. As he gets knocked back, he needs to hit the madness as quickly as possible. And barely staying alive, another player actually appearing from behind his Kenzo, taking him out here in the final moments. And he will join Cami as well. Both of them out here. Unfortunately, your prediction not coming true, but I can't blame you for making the prediction. What on earth just happened? Chaos abound here. And the only player that seems to be playing through the chaos to be comfortable is Poppy. He's got five eliminations. We still got 12 players to go. And one of those 12 players is Sap Games there, finding his way to the front of the zone here, holding it down, but Poppy now on the hunt. This guy is not done yet. He wants more. He's getting more. Huge shots come through. Not going to be able to clean up that one, but finds another one just ahead of zone here, as he potentially could walk away with more than five elims. My man sees ahead, and he's putting his, his crosshairs right on top of it immediately. No hesitation. This is the warm-up that we said Poppy was going to turn into. He has shown himself to be more than a competent player. He might be one of the best that remain at this point and only remaining are less than 10. Day, not going to be one of those ones to join them though at the end of this game as Poppy. Not only is he going to do a good job at fragging out, he's also rotating perfectly. High ground in his control and can spray from above to the rest below. Listen, I am, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Pam Stu down low is exciting, and it's exciting because that's exactly where he finds success. Pam Stu, though, could potentially walk away doing something if Poppy Blast is up going down, but man, his aggression is not slowing down. He's pressuring every other player left in this lobby, and honestly, Poppy Blast might have this one. He might have it. My only concern for him right now, he's got a single small pot on him. If he takes any damage here, he's going to need a siphon. He will need another elimination and a refresh if he wants to stay in this game. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, this might be in an even worse position, though. A single build on him, and he's got no shields as well. He's actually going to retreat. Maybe try to find a couple of materials, something to work with, and it's a very risky play. The good thing, he's got the grapple on him. Going to try and glide back into the zone. He does get back in in time, but he's only got 15 health. He's going to need that elimination on Pam if he wants to survive, and he will not find it. Cam instead, the one to take him out. And although Poppy does not have a ton of builds on him, still by far in the best position in this game. Ooh! Huge Ooh. shot comes through and gets the elimination onto Cam. Now it's a 1v1. Pamsu versus Poppy Blast. Who's going to walk away with it? Big shot comes through, but he doesn't connect onto Pamsu. Now he's just trying to hold height as long as he can. Only two builds oh. remain, but it doesn't matter. Poppy Blast walks away with this victory royale and seven eliminations.